Hey guys, so this is so cool. Um, sorry I haven't done a video, and this video is late because this is video number six, and today is day eight. But um, yeah. So I wanted to go on ahead and give you guys your videos. I'm gonna try and do video six, seven, and eight today and tomorrow. So I'm gonna be behind like pretty. Well, if I get them all done today, then you know it's all good. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um. Really quick, uh, you guys know all the info about the videos, blah, 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 so far. If you want to give me a gift, there'll be a link down below that you can click in the description. Uh, this is video 6 of 12, uh, and there are 5 videos before this, and then there are a whole bunch of videos come. This video today is um, about Gemini, specifically. I'm a Gemini. I was born June 12th. Uh, and I'm going to read some facts from the only astrology book you'll ever need that I've had for like ever and I love this book. Um, so I'm going to read you some facts and then I'm going to give you my spin on them. Okay? So here we go. And I have my glasses on so I can read because y'all know I'm blind. So here we go. Gemini, May 21st through June 20th. That changes depending on what book or article or whatever you're looking at. Gemini is lively, energetic, versatile and intellectual, lives primarily in the mind rather than the emotion, and is extremely adaptable to new situations. That pretty much is self-explanatory. Moving on. Ruling planet Mercury, ancient messenger of the gods. Basically, what the messenger portion means, as a kid, for me personally, my mom used to call me a news reporter. So basically, anything I saw, I spoke about, and I still kind of do one way or another um so we're news reporters and that's what my mom that's one of the nicknames that my mom had for me when i was a kid so lucky day wednesday i don't like no damn wednesday who likes wednesday i like friday saturday maybe lazy sunday but not really wednesday oh wait wednesday is on day maybe Lucky numbers five and nine. Um, my favorite numbers are three, three, three. So nine um, has three threes in it. So yay! And I love the number five because it has two and three, and I'm a Gemini, and then it has three in it, which is my favorite number. Magical birthstone is a gate, um, but I like diamonds. Flowers, lily of the valley, and lavender. Lily of the Valley I don't give a shit about. Orchid is my favorite flower. And Lavender, don't care too much for. Danger. Gemini people are prone towards accidents in traveling, especially by air. I don't want to know that shit. Hold on. Their fickle nature also tends to arouse unexpected anger in others, the depth of which Gemini is often misjudged. Yeah, I tend to anger people because I pretty much say what the fuck I feel like, and people get annoyed with it sometimes, and that's understandable, um, but it is what it is. Like, I've tamed myself down because I used to be very verbal about how I felt and say what I wanted to say. I would tell people in public that I didn't even know all types of shit, like crazy shit. I'm surprised I didn't get my ass beat for it, but, um, so yeah. People born under, oh, the, lo the most likable trait about Gemini is responsiveness. People born under the sign are, are many-sided, quick in thought and action, clever with words, skillful at handling others, brimful of ideas. I am so good at handling others. I worked in customer service and they called me dirty jobs, micro dirty jobs. Because I used to handle all the evil people and I just love it. It's so much fun. Gemini people do not sit back and watch the scenery go by. As a Gemini, you are endlessly curious about everything and must be a part of the busy passing scene. I really am. I'm not really satisfied with just looking at things. I love the beauty of things, but I really want to be a part of it and kind of like take it with me. And as you guys will see, like in my photos with the world around me, like I love to take pictures. I love just love things. Like I love finding the beauty in things and I just love that. I really do.
If the world is a stage, Gemini must be the actor on that stage. Yeah. And unlike Leo, who wants only to be the star, Gemini wants to play all the parts. That is so true. That is so true. I want to be the director, the producer, the actor, the the leading man, the leading lady. I want to do everything. And as you guys probably see, like with all the stuff I do, like I want to be in charge. I want to rule. I'm going to rule the fucking world. It's going to happen. You usually want more than one of everything. True. That includes jobs, hobbies, careers, lovers. Basically, your nature is restless, on the go, in the quest of new ideas and fresh experiences. As a result, you often leave a trail of unfinished tasks. Your tendency is to fritter away too much energy on too many things instead of concentrating your cleverness on one task. That is true. Um, one, I do want, want more than one of everything. Everything. Like, my ideal relationship would to be to have like two or three people that would be like, you be this, you be this, and you be this. And you are all loyal to me. Like, that's how it works. But, um, y'all can't have nobody else. Okay. Um, next on that list is my tendency to, for, like, my mind is so busy all the time. And I always want to do so many things, so many things. And I'm always trying to do this and 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 this. And this. As you guys see with me on Twitter, on Facebook, doing these videos, you guys kind of know that if you're paying attention. Um, I just, and so sometimes things do get pushed to the side and not get finished like this thing I've been working on for how long? This is like some little crap and it's been taking how long? Um, so things like that and I try to do, I'm trying to focus more and push myself to finish things that I start. Um, I usually do. See, that's not a problem with me. I do finish things I start. It just depends on how long it'll take. So. Born with the gift of persuasion, you could sell ice in Iceland. Truth. Your quick mind can explain any action, define any position, justify any course. Pretty much. You know a little about everything. You also are inclined to have firm opinions on everything. Subject to revision at the drop of a dime. So yeah, like I will I will be hardcore, hardcore, hardcore about something. But the second I find out something new about it or something new about something else, I will nicely change my mind. And it's not that I'm a flake. It's just that because things that I'm into, I'm into and I've been into for years and will continue to be and I'm very loyal um, with my friends and family but I'm open to the fact that things change and just because you're loyal and you are um, consistent with things like consistency is not necessarily a good trait neither is um, jump being fickle like fickle so I'm more fluid I, I like a fluidity in my in myself and my being and the way I think there are things that things change and with that sometimes your thinking and your way of being has to change and if you aren't able to do that if you can't bend with the river eventually you're gonna break because the water will keep flowing so I like to flow with it that looks weird the Gemini's weakness is superficiality Good word, very sexy. Um, superficiality. Um, the reason for that is because, like, we don't like to necessarily fully dive into things unless they give, like, a hundred percent reason for me to be fully invested. I will, you know, I will like you and deal with you to a certain level, but you have to show me that you're worth my time over and over and over again. Like, that's just how it is. Like, something will be my favorite. And this goes with people and things. Like, something will be my favorite, 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 favorite for, like, a month. And then I'm like, mm. Yeah. I need the new one. Your factual gifts of writing, speaking, and self-expression make you a success in dealing with the public. 
You have a Quicksilver personality that can adapt to many kinds of people. I am that way, whether that's because I'm a Gemini or because of the fact that I've lived in so many different places and everywhere I've lived in my life, I've been surrounded by people from different cultures, races, um, so on and so forth. And I've learned to deal with all types of people and I, I find that to be I find that to be amazing because I'm one person I can go I may be the only black person in the room I may be the only male in the room I may be the only tall person short person whatever the case may be I will fit in some way somehow and I will find a way to get into that group um, I never really have a problem finding a way to fit in and it's not forced it just is what it is you know what I mean Routine and monotony are two things you dread and will go to any length to avoid them. It's true. I really don't like routine. And if it is routine, I like a balance between routine and um, constant change. Change is your key word and what you value most is freedom. I've always wanted to be free. I want to, that's what I was born to be. Period. Like no one's, if you're gonna try and lock me down, that's the worst way to get or keep me because if you try to lock me down, I'm like an animal, like I wanna get out. You can't put a wild animal in a cage and expect it to stay there. It's gonna try to get out every single time you give it a chance and that's how I am. You love to explore new territory, see the way people live on the other side of the world. Inquisitive and imaginative, you are open to different ways of looking at things. Your trendy, up-to-date lifestyle has you constantly living off the fat of the land. Fad, not fat. Um, that's true. I, I love learning how other people do things. And whether I may agree with them or not or want to take that on in my own life is up to me at that point in time. But um, I love seeing how other people interact with the world and the environment around them and other people around them it's amazing and I take it as a learning experience and this video is getting a bit long so I'm gonna fast forward to other stuff.